Photographing the crowd here. <laughs> well, and that's one of the problems too is the, uh, we did an expo walk in Wisconsin Rapids and we're still getting feedback today that the Wisconsin Rapids people are like, no one comes to Wisconsin Rapids, let alone a marijuana expo. We thought it was a sting. We still don't know what to think about it. You know that that's one of the hard things is that not every uh, city uh, has activists who are out on the street. We forget that too. In my hometown, we go and eat, and the school asks us to do stuff, and the parks ask our normal department to help out with stuff like that. You know, so. We're welcomed in the community, but we got to remember that when we do go to a strange land, uh, that the locals may not actually understand what's going on. That's why it's important for, if you are local, get involved in your local initiatives. Uh, if Joe Blow off the street says, hey, come down to the library at 6, you're not coming. But if your best friend says, hey, I'm going down to the library at 6, you're going with them. You know? So reach out to friends, family, get them involved, get them active. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to just give you an overview of where Wisconsin is just to show you kind of the, the movement that's evolved, the organizations that are working and some of the upcoming events that we have. So uh, we're having the, the pop book giveaway today. Uh, it's very historic. Uh, two years ago, there were not normal chapters out in Wisconsin doing outreach meetings like this, let alone giving away stuff. So to do something like this is, uh, is, 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 is something special. And to see this type of turnout, it's, it's great. You know, I go to meetings all over, even for the state chapter, uh, and the turnout is not this large. So commend yourselves for uh, coming here today. We do appreciate it. So um, this, yeah, good job. Um, Kendall, Wisconsin is this Saturday. Kendall, Wisconsin is over by Toma. It's really central Wisconsin. They're going to have a cannabis fair. Uh, a cannabis, yeah, a cannabis fair is really it's put together by a, a speakeasy and smoke shop. What they're doing is they're bringing in featured speakers, uh, expo style event, and also a musician. Um, Ed Thompson, who is a political figure from that area, will be speaking. Jackie Rickert, the namesake of the Medical Marijuana Act for Wisconsin, will be speaking. Uh, Home Roll, the author of um, Satan Smoke, he will be at the cannabis fair for a book signing event. Um, Eau Claire, Eau Claire is. So relatively close to that area, they have an initiative over initiative going on over there. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, one of their leaders is going to be speaking. So, it, as far as uh, events outside of Madison, uh, everybody is aware of Harvest Fest. This is like the Harvest Fest or the weed stock outside of Madison. So, if you can make it to Kendall this weekend, it's Saturday. It's the 23rd. Starts at noon. They're going to have food vendors and whatnot. Music starts at eight. It'll be done by ten. Family friend, family friendly event. Bring your kids if you want. Uh, there is no open usage at this event whatsoever. Uh, July 25th, which is the Monday, there's going to be a Wisconsin normal meeting in Madison. Uh, they run their meetings at 7 to 9 o'clock. Uh, at basically the second and fourth Monday of the month. Uh, so again, that's Wisconsin and Madison normal meeting. Uh, they do meet in Madison 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock at night. Next meeting is on the 25th. Um, also brings us up until August 8th, which is subsequently their next meeting, the first one in August. But the 13th uh, of August in Madison, they will be celebrating their birthday and anniversary. So it's kind of like a potluck picnic, bring your own. Uh, everything is on our website as far as addresses, where to communicate to. If you're on Facebook, it's all on there too. But that's August 13th. It's a Saturday. Uh, it's Norm Madison Normal's birthday. Ten years? I, I feel bad. I don't know offhand, but I didn't write that down, so um, can't know everything. The next day, right after that, uh, on the other corner of the state, um, Milwaukee is going to have a blazing barbecue uh, put, put together basically by southeastern Wisconsin Normal. Uh, sounds like they're going to have music, food, all that kind of good stuff. So I don't know the address right offhand, but it's in Milwaukee. It's on our website. You can go find it. So again, our website, www.northernwisconsinnormal.org. Um, so that's the 19th, or the 14th. And then I mentioned again here our next meeting, which is important, August 19th. That's at the Harmony Cafe, August 19th, Harmony Cafe, 6 to 8 o'clock again. Uh, we're going to meet informally as a group at 420 at Harmony Cafe to dine and eat together, but we'll be, we will be conducting our meeting from 6 to 8 o'clock. So, but you're welcome to come out beforehand with us again. That's totally fine. We understand it. Um, that's actually one of the things that I really enjoyed being an activist was the time I got to spend before uh, these events and after these events with uh, like-minded folks, whether 
it would be brainstorming or thinking about the next thing or because uh, not everybody is here for the same reason I mean we are for one sake but not everybody is focusing on a different thing some people are here to get a flyer and a signature page and get out of here some people are here to be future leaders of the chapter so what we want to do is 19th it's a Wednesday 6 to 8 o'clock and 420 for food Try to make it easy so people can read that. Uh, <laughs> the Blazin Barbecue is going to be on Highway 45 and 8 Mile Road. Highway 45 and 8 Mile Road, yes, correct. There you That's go. a Friday. August 19th is a Friday. What's your name, sir? Jason. Jason is going to be our new social intern for the Appleton area. <laughs> um, so that then leads another, uh, sorry, go ahead. You mean the 17th? Because the 19th. Okay, 17th. There you go. Yeah. Today is the 19th. I've been mission mode. All right. Okay, 17th. I just want to make sure I yeah. It's a Wednesday. It's the 17th. So I apologize. Yeah. Sunday, August 14th, from 12:30 to 3:30. The point of this is to show you that there is a statewide movement going on. There are pockets of activists all over this uh, state that are working. Uh, by themselves and in unison uh, with other chapters, but what we want to do is we want to really make sure that everybody is aware. This is one of those things too that you may not be able to attend the Milwaukee event, but you may be able to direct somebody in that community to that event. So uh, we think that everybody who is in can who is for marijuana or cannabis reform understands that there's normal chapters and that there's things going on. They don't. You know, I talk to my buddies all the time. Wisconsin normal. Hey, you're having a meeting, you know, because we're all struggling so much to keep awareness going on in our communities that we have to do that but we also have to cross promote each other so if you know somebody in these communities where there's events coming up and you're unable to make it please reach out to them and tell them to attend the event uh, the two important things to remember uh, are really harvest fest um, harvest fest is the first weekend in october it's a saturday sunday saturday is a festival sunday is a march uh, we want to have a booth at Harvest Fest this year, representative for Wisconsin Normal. So if there's anybody interested in helping with that, whether it be your first Harvest Fest or if you've been there before, uh, whether you want to sign up to man the booth for an hour, all day, whether you're an artisan and you have something to contribute, um, possibly whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, what we want to do is we want to make it welcoming as we can, uh, get these people down to Harvest Fest, especially the people from our community, and uh, really show Madison, uh, show the folks down there uh, how, how we can be activists, how we can really, uh, like I said, shine. And what we would do is we would mimic some of the things that we're already doing out in the field, hopefully bring that to Harvest Fest, and hopefully cultivate uh, some of those leads, some of those activists that are down there. So. Uh, if you haven't been to Harvest Fest before and you're a little bit scared about going down there, this would be the perfect time to get involved. Help represent your local chapter at Harvest Fest. Uh, we'll hold your hands through it. We'll do everything with you. We're going to be there. Uh, we just need a few extra bodies so that we're able to do the things that we need to do, uh, which includes speak and also uh, network with the other organizations that are down there. So uh, if you don't want to help out with our chapter in particular, there's plenty of other, way, other ways to help out with Harvest Fest. And again, if you are an artisan, vendor any type of way shape or form and you're interested uh, there is a vendor, group of vendor space available uh, we would hope that you would uh, try to incorporate whatever you're doing with your local chapter so uh, again that's August 1st and 2nd so November and December uh, we're, we're looking and actively searching for a uh, meeting location we're thinking that the November location is going to be somewhere here in the valley yet we want to keep the momentum and everything spill keep spilling over uh, but Fond du Lac really has been shouting for something so um, we don't, you know, me personally, I, I don't see um, Oshkosh, Fond du Lac, and Appleton having individual chapters of normal right now. Uh, I, I, I would see some sort of conglomeration that would work out much better amongst the activists hey, out there. Hey, Craig Liss grouped us together, why not normal? <laughs> I think, there, I think there is enough support in the individual communities to spawn that off. Um, do I think it's the best use of resources? No. You know, uh, what, we're gonna, what we're leaning for, and this is another thing that we're asking for your input on, uh, because sometimes it comes from people who are relatively new to it or taking a sideline view or a fresh view, that when you work with this all the time, uh, you tend to overlook stuff. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop a network of all the different activists throughout Wisconsin, organizations and individual activists, so that we can utilize our resources better, um, brainstorm better, do those types of things. And you're absolutely correct. There, there, it might be a situation where Appleton, uh, Oshkosh, and um, Fond du Lac have um, 
an active group of people who are meeting on a regular basis, but who are promoting Northern Wisconsin normal, if that makes sense. You know, so. But ultimately what we have is we have a situation in Wisconsin.